Hello, I'm Steph and this is Pearl, my rescue Robroski hamster. I thought it would be interesting to measure how fast Pearl runs on her wheel and how far she travels on her wheel. I think hamsters should be in the wild, so I would never buy one from a store. However, I do like to adopt unwanted hamsters and give them the best life possible. Robroski hamsters are the smallest of hamsters, measuring just over 5cm to about 8cm in length and in the wild they live in the desert. Because Robroski hamsters are so active at night and spend much of their time in the wild foraging for food and travelling around the desert, in captivity they need a wheel to allow them to exercise. Pearl spends a lot of time each night on her wheel and I thought it would be really interesting to measure how far she runs on her wheel and how much distance she covers. Well-being of hamsters comes first and I wanted to measure speed and distance in a way that would be completely safe and in no way impact Pearl or interfere with her routine. So for this I needed Pearl's wheel and a new and clean speedometer and odometer which is an instrument for measuring the speed and distance travelled by a wheel object. Pearl's wheel is a large wheel with a cork liner. This is because the larger the wheel you provide your hamster with the more easily it can be controlled and the less likely your hamster is to flip over in the wheel and to fall out and potentially hurt themselves. The weight of a large wheel can be a problem for a small hamster if the spin mechanism is not loose enough and likewise if the wheel does not have sufficient grip which can cause the hamster to have to scrabble and slip to get the wheel moving and to keep up momentum. However the wheel I have for Pearl is easy for her to spin and also has a cork liner which allows her to grip. It's also important with the wheel that there are no gaps in the wheel that the hamster could get severely injured on. So I know the wheel I have is being controlled by Pearl meaning it doesn't build up to a speed that she cannot run at as do some smaller wheels where you might see hamsters flipping over and over. So the speedometer odometer gadget works by using a magnet and a sensor to time how long it takes for the wheel to rotate. By using the size of the wheel it can calculate current speed, distance travelled and average speed. Also time that the wheel spends rotating. To set it up I first attached the magnet to her wheel with a screw so as to be sure it would not fall off which could become a hazard. I then found a way to attach the sensor to the wheel stand in a position the magnet would pass on each turn. I made sure the wire was inaccessible for Pearl and did not interfere with the wheel turning and trailed this out of her enclosure to the device which shows the readings. To program this I needed to calculate the circumference of the wheel and input this information. To do this I measured the wheel diameter and multiplied the diameter by pi. It was then all ready to go and I left this set up for 7 nights in total and the results are as follows. Pearl spent an average of 3.78 hours on her wheel each night and in total spent 26.48 hours on her wheel over the seven nights. She travelled a distance of just over 50 miles in seven nights, which is an average of just over seven miles a night. She ran an average speed of 1.86 miles per hour, and the maximum speed that she reached was 5.5 miles per hour. Pearl spends a lot of time jumping in and out of her wheel and collecting and burying food in between running in the wheel. Each time she jumps out of the wheel it continues to go around a few times and becomes slower and slower. This will of course have lowered the overall average speed and increased overall time spent and distance travelled slightly. If you are interested in learning more about Rob Roski's in the wild please see my video on this and if you're interested in learning more about hamster care I also have videos on that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.